Hey guys, how's it going? So it's been seven weeks since I had my bicep tendon surgery. Uh, things are going well. I didn't do anything last week video wise. I didn't post anything because I haven't done much anything different than the previous week. So I'm still doing physiotherapy once a week with my private physiotherapist and once every two to three weeks I'm seeing the NHS uh, physiotherapist because they communicate with the NHS doctor and it's just easier for them to kind of keep themselves posted. So basically uh, I need to still work on my mobility. I think that bloody sling caused more damage than uh, it should have. But hey ho, I'm working on it. So yeah, it's all good. There's a bit of restrictions when I'm lifting the arm up. But apart from that, it's fine. Again, some restriction when I bring my arm back. But again, I'm not very mobile on this side either. That's something I need to work on. Uh, okay, so I've been doing bands the last week. So last week I've been doing bands. But now, since this week, week seven, I started doing dumbbells, so free weights. My physiotherapist said I can go up to five kilo. I didn't want to risk it because five kilos feels a bit too much for me. But again, maybe I'm just overprotecting it. So I started with one kilo, that felt okay. The next day I went up to 2.5 kilos. And basically, I'll show you guys. So I got a three kilo dumbbell here. And I never do this if I'm not warmed up properly. So basically my routine is I start on one side. So let's say I'm working the good side. I'm doing chest press or shoulder press or whatever. In my active rest, I'm doing, I'm working this side, I'm rehabbing. So basically, part of my rehab, I have this circuit. So I do 15 reps as a bicep curl here. Again, I'm not going all the way because I want to keep it around 90 degrees. So I do 15 there, and straight after that, I do 15 uh, lateral raises. So here, again, I'm not lifting it too high. Again, I want to warm up the shoulder, keep it going, but I'm not forcing it because, again, when I lift, as you can see, the shoulder is trying to protect itself, okay? So 15 there, and after straight into 15 front raises. Again, I don't go past my face, so keep it to that nice angle here, 15, and straight into 15 shoulder presses here. Again, I'm not yanking it because things go wrong. So nice and controlled, 15 normal shoulder presses. And I repeat that, three to four times a day, okay? So basically start on this side, even if I do legs, I'll do my legs set and afterwards I start doing my rehab exercises. Uh, I'm still working on my stretches because as you can see, I'm not uh, that mobile, I'm not that good when I'm bringing the arm behind. But again, that's taking time. So basically, even when I go to do my physiotherapy, they work more on my shoulder, in my pec, because it's been so tight, then actually, I mean, the arm, there's not much left to do there. And it's good to, even when I do my light weights, now I can feel the bicep getting good contraction. You can see the muscle moving and the peak is kind of coming back, which is very good. Okay, apart from that, I'm very good with my diet. That's very important. And I've been trying to improve my sleep because it's always been a mess. So now I'm uh, sleeping at least six hours a night and uh, eating okay. I eat, again, uh, restricted calories and I'm trying slowly, slowly to, again, to introduce more meals a day. But at the moment, I want to keep inflammation out, uh, outside my body, because again, if you eat loads of sugar, loads of processed stuff, it's not good. And I want to still get a recovery going. Now, okay, another exercise I've been doing, so I started with push-ups on the wall but uh, two days ago I managed to do them I'll show you guys I'll show you two days ago I started basically doing the press-ups here down one two three and To start with, I felt this side taking over and trying to be overprotective. 
So basically, most of my waves was going through my right side, but now I'm forcing the left, forcing the left to be more active as well, okay? Because I was doing my research on YouTube and I came across this uh, YouTuber, he's not a YouTuber, he's got an account, Joe something, I think he's a powerlifter, and uh, he had the same injury, uh, he, was, um, he snapped his distal tendon, so from the elbow up, and uh, within six weeks, so I think he had the sling on for six weeks, which is quite a lot, but afterwards, his first session back in the gym, he was bench pressing like 80 kilograms. I'm like, wow. So I was reading the comments and loads of people saying, and uh, most people are overprotecting it, so like I am. And it kind of makes sense, but look, I'm trying to take my time. I don't rush it. God forbid you get the injury back, uh, you snap it back and you're back to square one because it does suck. So I'd rather take my time especially getting my mobility back or improving my mobility because it's been rubbish anyway. So uh, yeah, but apart from that, keep carrying my mobility slowly. Again, I've been doing some rowing as well. So single arm rows, five kilos, which is fine. And uh, slowly, slowly build it back up. Uh, luckily, I mean, you can see there's a, there is a difference in mass between the arms, but I know I'm gonna get back to what I was. So yeah, the only thing that I'm worried about is eventually is my grip because I know I'm not gonna risk to lift 50 kilos on one side and this side because it is quite risky and I'm asking for trouble, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'm just trying to protect it too much. But anyway, so this is uh, week seven guys, uh, quick updates on what's been going on. I feel much better, it's good to drive, it's good to get dressed. Uh, yeah, most of the time, 95% of the time, I forget about the injury. I can do everything, I wash the dishes, I can drink water with this with this arm, uh, lift the kettle. Again, I need to be careful, you don't have full extension and afterwards, end of the lever, have a heavy weight because you are looking for trouble. So, but apart from that, Keep in mind, you're still in recovery mode. Look up to sleep, eat healthy, be positive, try your best to work out. The good thing about this, the good thing, I'm training legs twice a week, which is good because I've always kind of been a bit naughty with my legs and been neglecting them, but uh, now I'm working on them and it's good. So week seven, I'll see you guys next week, see what the physio says. And if there's any updates, I'll keep you guys, uh, Posted. See you later.